All right, everybody, Greg from Outdoor Goyo. We are back, we are comfy. It's not even cold where I live in San Francisco, but I'm in the, I'm in the X Games zone here. We are watching a crowdless event this year, but the Stoke is alive and strong, so join me on social media, check out the website, tag your buddies, and bring that atmosphere to the virtual world. Let's dive into Sunday's highlights. All right, to start us off, Nick Gepper wins gold in ski slope style. Nick is a veteran. He hasn't been on the podium since 2015, but he brought his best today. Tons of technical pretzels, which is like turning one way onto a feature and then turning a different way off the feature, which is very difficult. He did this on the rails and he came out strong in his first run and never looked back, keeping first place the whole jam session. Check this out. The X Games. Definitely a veteran. This is a guy that I always used to paddle with when I was competing and still at the top of his game. Hasn't been at the top of the podium in a few years, but he's refocused and back trying to win another goal. Making short work of the rail section there, heading into the first of the jumps. Starts it off with a left side double cork. Great speed for Nick. He seems to be powering through these jumps. There's the switch double. Misty so, so far, so solid. Two 1260s. There's another 1260 to the right. And then the switch double cork 900, the smallest rotation of his. Dusty Henriksen wins gold in snowboard slope style after blowing everyone away at the knuckle huck comp on Friday, this 17 year old turns up the dial on his slope style run. Coming back from behind, he pulls out all the stops on his run number two. The kid was so on fire, he was wearing a short sleeve t-shirt. Let's roll tape. He's already got a gold medal in knuckle huck this weekend, Craig. He just wants to add to it. 50-50, nose blunt pretzel so difficult and those two 270s pulled them back yeah your body wants to keep going dusty says no i'm stopping you right here and i'm going to switch back 12 and i'm going back triple hey how are ya oh you're doing them dirty dusty okay what more do you want all right, one of my favorites, Jamie Anderson, a legend, wins gold in snowboard big air. How does this girl keep taking the top of the podium? She's amazing. It's unbelievable how she could pull together two monster tricks to take home another medal, making her the most decorated X Games athlete ever. Check it out. Anderson, all gold, everything. Already a win in slope style a couple of days ago. Did that cab double nine so sick? That front double ten even sicker. Filthy. Ew. What a vibe she's feeling right now, right? Gold in slope style. First woman to ever compete knuckle hug. Now she's leading here. And I, Hello. I don't understand. She all won. She Yudo Tatsuka wins gold in snowboard super pipe. The competition was fierce for this super pipe event. On his third run, the 19 year old from Japan gave it all he had in a beautiful combination of trips. Just got bumped out of silver medal position. Oh, he's upset. Oh, he mad. Oh, go on, King. <laughs> go on, fam. Whoa. Oh, he mad now. Front 12 to get. Henrik Carlu wins gold in ski knuckle huck. This is my favorite competition by far. He won his eighth X Games gold medal to make history as the most ski golds. It was a tough call on the winner since it was such a fun, creative event, but Henrik really smeared the butter 
of that knuckle using both the tips and the tail. Super smooth. Second place, here comes Henrik Harlow out of Sweden. Going so All right, but we can't show Knuckle Huck without showing Jesper Traders pulling off a crazy switch double backflip, but while also scraping his tips on the knuckle. It was it was just such a dangerous move. I can't believe he pulled it off, but I honestly would have given him the gold if it were up to me. So let me know in the comments below who you think won that. Let's take a look at this. Sets hard. Does he clip? He hits his tips. No way. He hit. It's a switch double backflip tip tap. I believe we're going to have to call it. We're going to have to. I mean, that definitely has never been done on accident or on purpose. That has never been done. How in the world did he get around? And you can see the reaction from the other guys. I'm dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. That's it for Sunday's highlights. I'm Greg from Outdoor Goyo. Be sure to visit our website, outdoorgoyo.com, for a full calendar of all amazing events across the world. We have our full schedule of the X Games, highlights from the rest of the weekend that you should check out. If you're looking to keep the stoke alive, you enjoy gear reviews, interviews, feature stories, all about enjoying activities in nature, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more to come up next. Outdoor Goyo, out. It's really hard to type with gloves on.